Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing the weekly reading for the sign of Leo. So what I'm seeing here is that um, somebody is not releasing something that they need to. Somebody is not letting go of something that is weighing them down, holding them back. All right. Somebody really needs to take some time to do some introspection here to identify um, things within themselves that need to be healed and addressed. All right, because I feel like without someone doing that, it's going to continue to Im impact their relationships negatively. All right, I see that somebody is guarded because of some type of past situations. Somebody is guarded, maybe not even, they, they don't even need to be guarded anymore, but they're guarded because of some things that they're hanging on to from the past here. Somebody has a wall up here. There maybe needs to be some things that to be like, um, somebody maybe needs to forgive something from their past, forgive themselves and release that. This is somebody, there is maybe, there's somebody coming through in the collective that you've been on. I don't feel like this, this, this isn't somebody that you had like a really bad ending with. This is maybe, um, somebody that you, you guys were, you know, you were just like, the timing wasn't right for you and this person. Maybe you thought that maybe, maybe you and this person needed some time apart. This is somebody that you haven't spoken to in a while, but I don't feel like it was somebody that you had a really bad ending with. All right. Somebody here is a little bit nervous to come towards you. Somebody needs to reprogram their subconscious mind here. Um, because I see that somebody is very emotionally drained, physically, spiritually. Somebody needs to make some much needed changes in their life. Somebody really needs to take time to heal here before they can progress. Somebody needs to be very serious about their healing. Take that very seriously. They need to face some things. Yeah, we have like, there's something here about healing here. Somebody was heartbroken in a past relationship or a past situation. They may have freed themselves from some type of toxic situation, but they still have not healed from that. Somebody could also have an addiction. Something needs to come to a final end here. All right, something needs to... If somebody is like coming back, like somebody is not going to grow if you keep giving them second chances. That's what I'm getting here. If you keep giving per somebody chances, they're never going to grow and change, change their life. So I feel like, and you need to really think about if somebody is um, really what it is that you desire in another person. All right. So this is a situation where there had to be an ending between you and another person. They were never going to learn. They were never going to heal. They were never going to release baggage. If you continue to stay in a relationship with them or you kept giving them chances. So if you guys have like put your foot down, set boundaries with the person, that was much needed. Because I'm seeing now that the, a relationship has come to an end. You stopped a cycle with this person. Now somebody is evolving. Somebody is preparing like for union here. They're growing. They're finally growing. But it was only after you stopped going through a cycle with this person. Yeah. Somebody had to take a good look at themselves. Somebody had to take a look at themselves to really see... That they are being, they are being selfish. Somebody was emotionally unavailable because of things that happened in the past and they weren't being fair in relationships. All right. They were too self-absorbed. They were too stuck on the things that have happened to them. Um, they were just very, yeah, self-absorbed. They couldn't think, they weren't thinking about how what they were doing was affecting you or other people that they were dealing with here. But, um, yeah, I'd say this person was maybe refusing to take a responsibility they're blaming their issues on everybody else but themselves, not taking, but 
you know, yeah, this person could have been traumatized, but it is their responsibility to heal. Um, and I feel like this person was refusing to take accountability for their own healing. So, but I'm seeing here that it was like you were almost enabling this person. You were enabling them by giving them chances, going through a site, repeating a cycle with them. But then when you cut off communication with this person or you put an end to the relationship, you stop the cycle. Now this person is growing and transforming. They're changing their life. They're changing within themselves. They're healing. They could have had some childhood trauma. And I feel like this person, the, the, the connection is evolving between the two of you. Even if you and this person are in separation right now, the connection is still evolving. All right. So let's see how this person, let's see. If you want someone new, then this is not your reading. And even if this is your reading, you do not have to take this person back. This reading is not saying that you have to take this person back. I'm just reading what the energy is, you know, what the energy is that's coming through. You have free will. All right, so what's going on with this person? What did I just say? I just said to you guys, your choice. It will be your choice. You have free will. This person has a lot going on in their life. All right. This person has a lot of baggage or burdens, obligations, and they're very overwhelmed by that at this time. This person has made the decision to end something toxic here. And it looks like it could have been a marriage, a relationship. Some type of connection something that was long standing in their life they have made the decision to walk away from that all right they've made some big decisions some big life-changing decisions here yeah healing but this person is very much it's kind of driving them crazy that you guys aren't speaking that they don't know what's going on with you how you're feeling how you're feeling about them if you're doing okay that is really driving this person crazy all right um yeah this was a person that was stuck in indecision i feel like this person i feel like this person um the timing isn't right so this person hasn't made the decision to come through yet but it's probably divinely guided because I'm seeing here that spirit says the time isn't right. I still feel like um, someone still needs to do some healing. It could be both of you. And this person feels like you're sending them mixed signals. They don't know if you're even interested in hearing from them or being with them. Maybe one minute. It's like they're maybe somehow keeping tabs on you. Yeah. What did I just say? Keeping tabs on you. Stalking. I often check on your social media to see what you're up to. Yeah. And from whatever they're seeing on your social media, it's giving them mixed signals. This person's going to maybe reach out to you and try to initiate a friendship with you first. This person does not feel like they can move on from you. So that, and they're very much in their head about you. And that's why they're going to reach out. But this person may. They might try to like start off as friends with you. They know they owe you an apology. I still don't feel like this was somebody that, you know, there was a terrible ending with. I feel like it was just maybe this person is just, they regret the way that things went between the two of you.
I feel like this person regrets the fact that they were not able to give you what you deserve because this person wasn't healed enough to be able to give that to you. All right. So. Let's see what else is going on here. Cards are going crazy. I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit. Sorry, guys. Yeah, there's something about online. This person's definitely watching you on social media. They're watching you online somehow. Some of you may be like uh, Instagram famous, have a social media like presence. All right, influencers, whatever, online businesses. But um, this is a person that does not know how to express their emotions. Mmm. So this person's going to have to make a very, like, tough decision or sacrifice for there to be reconciliation between the two of you. Like, it's going to have, it's going to be something that's going to be a very difficult choice for them to make. They're going to have to make, there's going to be, have to be some type of sacrifice for them to come towards you. I'm definitely seeing that here. And that's probably why this person is having a hard time. This person just doesn't feel like, this person has been resi re resisting the flow, all right? It's like, this person doesn't feel like they fit into the life that they've been living anymore. Like, where they're at, where they're living, the people that they're surrounded by, they just don't feel like they fit in. They feel like a black sheep in their own life. And But this person has also been, like, resisting the flow. They've been holding on to people that aren't meant for them. They've been holding on to situations that aren't meant for them. But there's going to be some type of divine intervention in this situation. That's going to, um, I feel like, bring you and this person together. This, Yeah, this person's bored with their life. They're bored with, they want more out of life. They, they, they feel like there's more for themselves than what they've been settling for. They're like, they really want change. But this person has a really hard time expressing themselves. They are maybe codependent on a situation. They could be very materialistic, have an addiction. They need to really face their shadow self. Somebody doesn't want to face their shadow self. They don't want to get in touch with their emotions. This person is an overthinker. They second guess themselves. Like right now, this person is not in the best mental, like they're not in the best space mentally, physically, possibly, spiritually, emotionally. So that's why this isn't coming together yet. But I do see that there is going to be some type of powerful change in this situation. Powerful transformation. Somebody's going to let out those emotions that they've been suppressing and holding in for so long. All right. There's a door that you thought was closed is going to open or reopen. If you thought this, if you're like, it would take a miracle for this person to open up to me. To finally do the shadow work or work on themselves and change. I'm seeing a miracle here, guys. I don't know. I feel like they're going to finally do it because they are tired of the life that they've been living. There's something here about friendships. So maybe there's a friendship that also needs to come to an end. Somebody maybe has toxic friends. There's something about a friend. Like they don't, they think they're, they think something about a friend that isn't true or they don't know a friend as well as they think they do. They don't have the whole picture or they don't have all the details. There's something about a secret here in regards to friendship. Hmm. 
Maybe um, this person was keeping your friendship a secret. Friends with benefits. I don't know what it was. Friends with benefits. So, let's see here. Yeah, this person has like typed out messages to send to you, but they never send them. Wanted to call you, but they never follow through with it. This person feels like they they had never been in love until they met you. Yeah, this person definitely is in love with you. It just scares them. They've never experienced this before. There could be a past life connection between you and this person. And that could be um, contributing to the... Um, it's contributing to the intensity. They feel like you're just very unique. You're unforgettable. They're never going to be able to forget you. You're, they're never going to be able to replace you. This person has been trying to distract themselves, but... It's not working out very well. So this person is scared. They are scared of the intensity. But this person's more afraid of losing you completely. It's like right now with the emotional state that this person is in, they don't feel like they have the energy to put into a connection or a relationship. They don't think that they can make this work right now because they feel very depleted. They have a lot of healing to do still. But you have inspired a transfer. Like you've triggered a transformation in this person. You have inspired them to change, to finally face their demons. And that's why they're never going to forget you, all right? Um, right now, this person's not doing well. They're not saying anything to you. Um, they just are not in a good place to be able to reach out to you, to express their true feelings to you. This person's a little bit afraid that they're going to get rejected as well, but right now this person's just not feeling good. They're not confident. They don't feel like they're good enough for you. They feel like you can do so much better than them. They feel like they just need to leave you alone. Spirit, that's what Spirit is saying. Spirit says that this person just feels like maybe they just need to leave you alone. Because they don't want to keep you from your husband or your wife. Or they don't want to keep you from being happy. Because this person knows that they can't provide you. They can't make you happy right now. They can't give you what you deserve right now. So, I mean, this person is being unselfish in that. Okay? But, yeah, they do definitely love you. But I do see in the future that it's something is there's going to be some type of divine intervention that brings you and this person back together all right or it makes you and this person start um talking to each other again or something reconcile i definitely see reconciliation in the future so Yeah, there's something about t timing. So divine timing is at play in this situation. The timing is off for you and this person. The circumstances, the whole situation is not in alignment. There's things that still need to be aligned, orchestrated, whatever, before you and this person could reconcile. But I do see this person has the intention of asking you out on a date, asking to meet up. They want something deeper with you for sure. They're going to take a risk in the future. But right now, they're not in a place to even be able to do that. But they're going to call. Yeah, they're going to call. They're going to message. They're going to want to just put the past behind you and start over. Have a clean slate. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's something about sacrifice here. So this is looking like for most of you um, or for whoever this reading is for, this person has children. 
with another person and they feel like maybe they have to sacrifice um they will have to make a sacrifice in regards to their children they do love you but it's something about the kids here they maybe feel like they have to give up their kids the kids will be kept from them something along the lines of that and i feel like they're not ready for that This person is like, it's like they want so badly to talk to you, but. Yeah, this person just knows that they're very immature as well. They just feel like they need to keep, I told you, this person feels like they need to stay away from you. It's best I maintain a distance between you and I. I'll continue to watch you from a distance. So that looks like this looks like this person just knows that they're just like immature. They would just be playing games. If they were to come back towards you, they weren't be able to have anything serious with you. But I do see that they're gonna want they want to like this person like wants to run away with you or like they want to restore this connection. I feel like that's what this person is when they do come back towards you, they're gonna be like, hey, let's get away for a while or let's do something together. Let's try to rekindle this. I'm not going to be the first one to make a move. Yeah, this person just is not feeling very confident right now. So right now, guys, I don't see this person reaching out to you. They're not going to initiate anything with you at this time. But I'm seeing in the future that after they've gone through a healing process, I do see them taking action towards you. All right. So... If you have a, if you're watching this reading and you have a child with this person, then this isn't your reading. This is somebody that has a child with somebody else for sure. This is like they have a child with a third party. It does, this isn't a reading. This is not um, somebody that you wouldn't have a child with this person if this is your reading. If that makes sense. They think they're going to have to sacrifice that with another in another situation to be able to come towards you. But yeah, the future is you. This person is like, I feel like this situation was not going to be able to progress. That's why things had to come to an end between you and this person. This person was stuck in fear. They were stuck in their ego. They had lessons that still needed to be um, learned. You had to walk away from this person or you guys had to separate or go on a break. It was much ne it was necessary if this were ever going to come together in the right way. Um, but I do see that in the future, this person is going to come to the realization that they feel like they want to build something with you. They want a future with you. And they're going to come in with some type of serious offer here. But it's only after this person goes through. I feel like this winter, they're going to be going through um, an ego death. All right? Something significant about this winter time that we are headed into or we're in now. They're going to be going through an ego death. Everything is going to hit them full force. And I feel like that's what's going to trigger them. If it's a friend sacrifice, I still believe that this is not your reading. This is definitely somebody that has kids with another person. And it, this is something to do with children. 
All right. This is somebody they have a children. I don't think this is friendship, but um, definitely they would have to sacrifice like a relationship with their kids. They feel like this is somebody that has kids with another person and they feel like they would have to sacrifice that relationship with their children. It's definitely not friendship. They could have toxic friends around them, but I don't feel like that's what the sacrifice is. So I just wanted to, I just want to clarify that. I don't want you to make this situation think, you know, make this reading be yours when it's really not. Cause I just want to make sure that this is very clear cut for me. This is somebody that has children with somebody else and they feel like they are going to have to make a sacrifice in that situation with an ex or somebody they have children with a wife um, to be able to come to have this relationship with you. So if this is resonating with you, it may be actually vice versa. They may feel that they maybe need to, they had to make a sacrifice with a relationship with you to have a relationship with somebody else, unfortunately. That's definitely clear cut here. So I just want to clarify that. But yeah, this is up to them. You guys have already done all that you can in this situation. Spirit says that you've done all that you can. It is up to them to take the action towards you to make the necessary changes to heal, to make those sacrifices. There's nothing else that you can do. So if you guys are still trying to, you know, you're still talking to this person, you're still reaching out to them. Spirit says that nothing you can do to, there's nothing you can do to convince this person to act right or to do what you need them to do. The only thing that you can do to influence this situation in a positive way is to walk away. It says you've reached a dead end. Choose to leave with dignity and strength and get unstuck in love. You continuing to go through this cycle with this person or give them chances or wait for them is actually stagnating the situation. All right. Yeah, we have maturity. I told you this person is super immature. They have a, a growth process to go through. All right. But you have triggered them to go into a growth process. You have triggered this person to finally change their life. And I feel like they're going to come back to you and tell you this. Yeah, this definitely could be a soulmate connection. But this person has to get out of denial. They have to face their, they have to like, they have to have an ego death. This person has a huge ego. They're very fearful. They're very prideful. And until they, you know... Want to let that pride down, you know, want to let their, it's like this person is just very guarded. We had the guarded card come out. They're very resistant to change. They don't go with the flow. They hold on to things longer than they need to. They have a lot of toxic behaviors and ways of thinking that they need to release. Yeah, they have a karmic. Let's see. What did I just say, guys? This person's guarded. It says, I'm letting down my walls. So, yeah, they... Yeah, this looks like it's a karmic soulmate. You have nothing to be worried about. Either they were dealing with a karmic soulmate. What does this mean for my collective? I dream about you. All right. Heal. Yep. Healing is really big here. Somebody is needs to heal, and that's going to change everything. Let go of the past. Somebody needs to let go of somebody from their past. A karmic soulmate from their past. For some of you, this is somebody that you just, you know, need to release, period. You know what I mean? Like, you need to release them. They were, meant, they were meant to come into your life to teach you valuable lessons. And even if this person does come back, you know, who knows where you'll be in your life at that point. You may have moved on. You may have met somebody new. So, Spirit is saying that, like, you know, whether you and this person end up together in the future or not, there was a valuable lesson to be learned from this situation, even if you don't really see it right now. Um, eventually you will understand why you, you know, whatever happened in this situation happened the way it did. All right. Maybe both of you need to heal. Maybe it's not just healing on your end. Maybe it's healing on both ends. But I do see that somebody is healing because somebody's letting down their, letting their guard down. It's like they're opening more up to the idea of you guys being, having a future together, of being in a commitment, of coming in with that offer. It's like each day, guys, they're, you know, they're making little, taking little steps towards being healed. You're heavily on this person's mind for sure.
So let's see what I want to, let's get some advice for the situation. What does spirit have to say in regards to advice? Advice for my collective. Yeah, so Spirit is saying that, you know, you guys may have not, you guys may not like how things have gone up until this point with this person. It may have just been very, a lot of drama, a lot of chaos, a lot of hurt, a lot of drama. But Spirit says, again, there were lessons to be learned. Keep it pushing, all right? And this is exactly what I was just saying. Um, valuable lesson to be learned from this situation. Appreciate and love the journey, even, you know, during the low periods, the high periods. Everything has happened the way that it was supposed to, the way it had to happen. The one who really loves you will never make you feel you must sacrifice your integrity and self-worth. So, yeah, Spirit's saying, like, this person, and I feel like this person, I told you, this person is staying away from you because they know that you deserve more. So, this person, that's what Spirit is saying. It says, if this person didn't love you, they would still be trying to keep you and not giving you what you deserve. But this person is choosing to stay away from you because they know that you deserve better. That this person doesn't think there's any point of coming back and trying to, you know, initiate communication with you, a relationship with you, when they know that they can't give you what you deserve. This person also knows that, you know, there's a possibility that you'll find somebody else. But they're like, we don't, if it makes you happy, then, you know, whatever. I think this person just wants you to be happy. They know that you are much, you're worth much more than they can give you at this time. Sometimes the best way to stay close to someone you love is by just being friends. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like this person, friend zone. So this person could have maybe friend zoned you or this person knows that they can only like, I, this person may come in and just try to be friends with you because they want, they don't want their, they, they can't bear being away from you. That may be a possibility in the future, but I feel like it's going to maybe take a while before they even do that. But I am seeing some, and this is what that friendship aspect is. It's between you and this person. This has nothing to do with them, you know, their friends or anything like that. No, this is friendship between you and this person. Maybe you were just like, maybe agreeing to be friends with benefits with this person because you just wanted to be with, you know, wanted to be close to them. You wanted to keep this person in your life. Or somebody is like, maybe you just agreed to stay friends with this person, even though you wanted more than that. Yeah, that's what the friend aspect is. Acting like you're okay and pretending nothing happened won't heal that hole in your heart. Yeah, somebody. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. This part, somebody needs to face their feelings, face their emotions. Somebody has been trying to avoid healing or facing something because it's difficult. It's hard. It's traumatic. So they've been trying, trying to suppress it. But it's just turning into a monster. It's, it's. <laughs> Somebody is in like survival mode or they're very, um, they're trying to self-preserve. All right. Why be someone's other when you can be the only? So yeah, this person definitely had a third party. Um, this was a, like another romantic relationship that they were in. Or somebody that they were refusing to release. An ex set boundaries with a person. Sarah says that there's somebody that will make you their number one priority. You don't have to settle for somebody that is going to put you in a third party situation. Spirit wants you to know that you guys need to have more faith and confidence. Faith in yourselves and confidence in yourselves. Spirit says you are good enough on your own. You don't need another person to complete you. The more angle, angry you're, you hold in your heart, the less capable you are of loving the present. Yeah, somebody has some resentment towards a past, like the past. 
some type of anger from something that happened to them in their past and they're they've been holding on to it they've been it's just been brewing inside of them it's like they they thought that they just did a good job of suppressing it and acting like it wasn't there but it's actually been like brewing inside of them it's been growing and growing it's getting it's been getting worse it got to the point where they couldn't ignore it anymore and i feel like something about the connection with you made this person not be able to live in a, an illusion anymore they were in this illusion that they were okay. But then when they met you, they realized that they were not okay. They were not okay at all. Somebody needs to come to the realization that even though it is hard to face those, it, to face those things that, you know, traumatized us, um, those things that hurt from the past, that by holding on to it, it's, it's just, it's harmful. You know what I mean? It's heavy. Um, the greatest thing you can do is surprise yourself. Get out of your head. You can do it. So stop being self-limiting, guys. Anything You can achieve anything that you put your mind to. Stop with those self-limiting beliefs, okay? Don't rush what you want exists. Sometimes you just have to wait. So, guys, um, if you guys have just not met your person yet, spirit says it, that doesn't mean that it's not out there. You just, maybe it's just not time for you to meet your person. Maybe there's other things that you need to focus on before you meet your person. Or if it's the situation with this person, it hasn't come together yet because it's not the right time. But just know that when it does come together, that it will be perfect. Perfect timing, divine timing. All right, guys. So take comfort in knowing that spirit is having you wait right now. They're preparing you for something better. Or when they do give it to you, you're going to be so blessed. Like you're going to be like, the wait's not even, the fact that you waited for however long you waited is not going to even matter anymore. All right? I really feel like everything is going to make more sense in the future when it, you know, everything comes together. But for right now, Spirit's saying that you don't need to know everything. All right? Trust in the, and trust in the divine. Trust in, um, you know, they just want, Spirit wants you to just have more faith in them. They're, they're orchestrating everything for your highest good. So just have faith in that. Okay? Focus on you, and everything else is going to come together for you. All right. So, guys, this is what I have for you. 